What's going on guys? TK back with another video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about Sarah Ledge and after all this experiment on the ladder, after a few weeks of playing online and stuff, I think I come to like a conclusion of like some of the best builds you can do on uh, you know, on the current ladder. But before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to bring you guys daily uploads. Um, and yeah, um, if you guys have any like suggestions that you want, uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments. You know, I wouldn't mind like hear what you guys want to see in the next video and things like that. Also, I might be looking for an editor, you know, since I'm a, you know, I'm a man of time. And uh, since I've been doing this, maybe, maybe getting an editor who's like a dedicated editor who is, who has like Pokemon knowledge wouldn't be so, so, uh, so bad. So if you're up to the task, feel free to hit me in the DMs. Pretty sure you can find my business, my business inquiries email and my Twitter as well as my YouTube about me page. But uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. So I think Sarah Ledge is one of my favorite new Pokemon designs is Scarlet and Violet. He's up there with Roaring Moon and uh, Armor Rouge. I love those three the most out of all the designs and Scarlet and Violet. I do think Armor Rouge is easier to like use compared to Sarah Ledge. And it's, when it comes to, like team building, I think Armor Rouge is just easier because of, like, you know, his moveset, like Wire Guard, Trick Room and things like that. But Sarah Ledge, in my opinion, in my opinion, I think Sarah Ledge is actually, they're both good. They're both good. I say they're, they're around the same like power level. But I think, I, in my opinion, I, I enjoy using Sarah Ledge more because I like Sarah Ledge's design more. Um, and I don't know, he's just, he's just more fun to use. But I truly believe Grass Terra type is the way right now, guys. Like, Grass Terra Sarah Ledge does, it, it's just so much value. Remember, he has the ability Flash Fire. So... When you turn into grass, Amoongus is very common, okay? So Rage Powder, like, and Amoongus is, doesn't just get, uh, he's not the only Pokemon that gets Rage Powder. It's like Volcarone and all those mods, right? When you're a grass type, you dodge uh, um, spore moves, like uh, pollen moves, like grass moves in general. <laughs> so, so like Rage Powder, you can't be Spore, you can't be Sleep Powder, you can't be none of that, right? Because you're a grass type. Um, also, grass gives him a weakness to fire, remember, but remember he has Flash Fire. So he turns to a grass type but he's he inevitably absorbs fire moves so that makes him only weak to flying and ice this combination is crazy for him and then you run like you know you run like clear amulet or like um or like maybe i don't know i don't i think clear amulet is the best you can run like lumberry so they get paralyzed you, know, you can't get burned that's the best thing about serial too because he's remember like he has flash fire so even if you change to a grass type um you you can't get whiffs so i like clear amulet the most i think this is one of his best items so you can't get intimidated um people i see a lot of the bulk up variant but i honestly think like what i've been using i've been using a combination of this the most so it's like bitter blade and then like shadow sneak so i always think you want the shadow sneak the priority is just so good like you can you could do like shadow claw but i honestly believe shadow sneak is just like the best you always even though it's like a weaker version you always get priority here um and usually you don't max out serial edge's speed depending on depending on your your team but usually like you because bitter remember he has a he has good bulk for his he has like his typing and his bulk compound with his terror type is actually sick so bitter blade is his signature move and that that's like it absorbs 50 percent of the damage that he deals right so usually you don't run max speed you want some bulk right so shadow sneak bitter blade and i like terror blast for for like when you're fighting water types now you have grass coverage stuff really good against rain teams too which is crazy because he's a fire type but the the grass terror type is just so clean on him man it's just so clean i, I just think it's his best it's his best terror against the current metal right now i, I truly believe it's the best you can't get rage powder by Amoongus and remember like you beat Amoongus innately because you're a fire type, right? Unless he terrestrializes, but if he goes water, then you just terror blast him. And then like you could just ignore him. Maybe the maybe like now you can't get rage powder, so now you just focus on what's next to him. So grass here looks so cool. But I like I usually like both. I think I think like this build is pretty good. You do like you like some HP, you know, maybe you can go like you go like you can go even go max HP. But I, I do believe you want some speed, especially if you're running like Tailwind, right? Like I said, you want that sweet spot. You you at least want 107 to, to outspeed Dragapult under Tailwind or whatever. All you need is this to outspeed him. And then you can go like max, you can go like uh, you know, HP. You can do like this, put a little bit here. You know, it's all up to you. But um like I truly believe this set is like one of the best right now. Just you know, EV EV you do the EV spread depending on like what your team is, but you know. This is this is sick right here, and then we have dark. I think Dark Serial Edge has a niche as well. Also, I want to talk about this real quick. Um, he does get access. People kind of forget he gets access to Solar Blade too, which is crazy. I remember back at like back at Sword and Shield, people were running sword like people were running Sun Teams like Groudonization, and they would tech in Solar Blade to like one shot Kyogres and stuff. He actually gets this attack. So let's say you run Serial Edge in a Trick Room team, and you got Torque on the team to set the Sun right. 
you can actually tech in Solar Blade instead of Terror Blast, because Terror Blast is 80 base power, but Solar Blade is like is like 125. If if Solar if you're in the sun, Solar Blade doesn't have a charge time, so you can actually Solar Blade Mons like with stab terror grass in the sun which is crazy i don't see this too often but i actually think that's a pretty good tech if you have like a sunset or anything like torque or whatever but i wanted to talk about that for a minute but um i do i do think the dark terror type has has a niche because a lot of armor rouge and dd cores the armor rouge runs like wide guard and then like trick room and then it runs like armor cannon and and uh an expanding force well if you let's say you have serial edge on the team Serial Edge can actually just terrestrialize into Dark, and then now he he can't be hit with the Expanding Force, and he also can't be hit with Armor Cannon because he has Flash Fire. So a lot of Armor Rouges on the ladder, you can actually wall them with a Dark Serial Edge. But I, it, it's funny because a lot of Indeedees are opting for Dazzling Gleam now to to like, because Hydreon kind of walls them, kind of walls Armor Rouge too, if it doesn't have like a fighting move like Aura Spear or something, Aura Sphere, and they usually don't have it. So, um... They tech in Dazzling Gleam to deal with the Hydreigons now, but I, I don't think DD is built, like they usually don't build DD strong enough to like to like chunk you too hard. And, and you could just Bitter Blade the damage back, right? Or a Bitter Blade the, the health back. So Dazzling Gleam, and DDs usually aren't built super strong and Dazzling Gleam is spread. So I think Serialesh could take it with his bulk and then he could just Bitter Blade the moves back. But if you have if you have Dark Serialesh, I think it actually walls the normal armor rules that you see on, see on the ladder until they adapt to it or whatever, but then they have to change their move pool. So. I think that has a niche. And then I was using, I remember at the start, I was using Fighting Serial Edge. I still think Fighting is pretty good terror type on him just because, like, remember, he's a ghost and Sucker Punch is rampant. You know, you could do Fighting to deal with King Gambit and, and things like that. So I don't think it's as good as Grass. I, I still think Grass is the best, but Fighting definitely has his niche just because he has the dark weakness. Um, so, but I, 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 think, I think these two, Grass is my favorite. I, grass is the best. I don't care. <laughs> grass is the best. But Dark has this niche, and then Fighting is, you know, there's, there's a niche there too. Um, and then, like, you know, partners you can pair them with. Remember, I was talking about the, the Solar Blade. Torko would be good if you run him in a trick routine. Even though they're both fire types or whatever, Torko can set the sun, and maybe you want maybe you want to run that Solar Blade, you know what I'm saying? Just for fun. I think that's cool because he a sword Pokemon, so it is, it's just cool if you can kind of make this combination work. But, um, you know, Let's say you're not running Trick Room. Tailwind setters, right? Like I said, you get enough speed. You get enough speed. You put bulk in there because you know he's gonna he has pretty good bulk innately, which is crazy. So you like, you know, you max out his HP or put a little bit of HP and then put a put a slight amount in speed. And then you run like, you know, you can run like Killer Trail. You can run him with uh you can run him with a tailwind setter like Killer Trail. And then like it, it also has competitive. So let's say you're not you're not running clear amulet, um, and you're scared of him being intimidated or whatever. Um Kilo Trail can kind of like make sure they they're scared to run intimidate so it's a tailwind setter for him and they're scared to run it they're scared to, to switch in their intimidate mom because it'll give killer trail boost so i think that's a pretty good combination and then obviously you can run like murkrow right murkrow is like one of the best because obviously he's a prankster tailwind setter to help sarah ledge out and then uh you know haze for the don bozo players and things like that and then like obviously like other redirection mods to like any, any kind of redirection to, to take the damage from Sarah Les so he can, maybe he can heal back what he needs or like, you know, Shadow Sneaks. I mean, he's gonna Shadow Sneak. That's gonna be priority, but you know, little things like that to help him out. But I truly believe Grass Sarah Ledge is the way right now, y'all. It, it's, it's so much value. Cause it even works good on tr against Trick Room teams. Cause Torkoal is on a lot of Trick Room teams, right? But remember, like Flash Fire Absorb, you just, even though you're a Grass type, Torkoal cannot hit you with Eruption. And then usually they run like a combination of like Earth Power Soul. It's like Earth Power Solar being my body press for their for their other coverage move, right? Torco cannot defeat Sarah Ledge usually if you if you play the board right. Torco can't take him down because if he terrestrializes the Earth Power, it's not stab, and, it, and then Grass is resistant to ground. They body press. Sarah Ledge is pretty tanky, um, and Torco isn't really isn't really built to like get maximum damage from body press, and then. Uh, and then Solar Beam, he's a grass type. He can't hit you with eruption because of Flash Fire. So, Sierra Ledge is a great Torkoal counter, a Trick Room Torkoal counter, which is crazy. He's bulky, so he's just absorbing. And Torkoal sets the sun. The opponent's tor Torkoal actually sets the sun for you. So, your Bitter Blades do more damage now. It's crazy. Grass Sierra Ledge is so good. Build a good team around him, guys, and he's going to put in work. He's going he's gonna to put in work, man. It's, it's so clean. Like, you can, run the, you can run bulk up over Protect, but I truly believe... If your team is good and you run clear emulate, you don't need bulk up. You don't need bulk up. It's good though. You can take it in or source dance. You can take it in, but I truly believe like this spread, this set right here is like 
is like pretty good. I think you should go adamant, adamant attack too, and then like spec in the rest how you how you see fit depending on your team. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you liked, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, peace.